After a month of using this habit tracker, I just feel like something isn't right. Each time I wanna reuse it, I have to uncheck all the boxes one by one. So in today's video, I will make a reset button to solve this problem. You can download the habit tracker template for free, but you need to watch this video to make the reset button. Don't worry, it's easy and only take 5 minutes to make. Now let's get started. I want my button to have the same green color. It's up to you. So go to color field and copy the code. Select insert, drawing, select shape. Then choose the button shape. Now draw the button. Change the color. Paste the color code that you copied earlier. You can also change the front, side, and color of the text. Let's move on to make the strip for this button. In the extension, select Record Macro and Save. Name it. Reset button. Then select Edit Script. Or you can go back to the extension and in the Manage Macros, select Edit Script. Delete this. And change it to Freshy Dog. Get range. Let's go back to the habit tracker. Select the area that we want to clear the content. Copy the selection range and paste it here. Make sure you use single quote. Dot, clear content open and close parenthesis semicolon now use the same formula for different selection ring where you want to clear the content just copy and paste the new selection ring For the checkboxes, the formula will be a little bit different. Copy the selection ring and paste it here. We replace the clear content with set value, open parenthesis, false, close parenthesis, semicolon. Now we repeat the same formula for the rest of the checkboxes. Let's hit run. You need to authorize the script. Now it works. Let's assign our script to the button. Now add the function name. If you're not sure about the name, go back to your script and the name is right here. Just copy it and paste it. Now test the button. If you want to learn how to make this template, here is the video 